Hi guys and welcome to 2018 Catch Terrascope and my review for 2018. This is a general review. I want to see all signs and I want to see what the general energy will be. So it's worth to mention that we are also entering a year number 11. Elevens are very spiritual. Aquarius rules number 11. This is not to say that everybody reaches 11's potential. You see, in numerology we have 1 to 9, and then we have special numbers, 11 and 22. These numbers are given mastery. They are given special abilities in achieving certain things. These abilities are not given because we were born in that. We have to really, really work hard throughout our lives to really deserve them. For example, most 11s are going to spend most of their life up to their, I would say, 40s or maybe even 50s really, really uh, baking their trade and being exposed to all kind of circumstances. In tarot, justice, strength, because these two decks, these two cards are in tarot kind of changeable in different decks, are 11. However, I also associate the High Priestess with 11. She is represented with the Roman too, which to me does look like 11. 11 is a number of illumination. So, one is a leader. One, one is a leader of the leaders, but also one plus one is two. So check it out. In 11, we have unity of leadership and softness. The hence 11s are trained to be healers all their lives. As you can imagine, I'm a number 11 and I'm telling you this from experience in my own skin. It took me really, really up to recently to really realize um, how things should be positioned and yet I don't have all the answers I am still continuing to work on them so now I am as I was laying down these cards as you have seen and I did put them on a fast we do have 11 that reappeared or appeared rather to say and we do have the master which is 22 we also have a 2 over here and we also have 1 over here and we also have zero which is kind of like a baseline so it is really confirming that numerological number two year number two two which is also going to be really good year for everybody who is a number two because you see we elevens we live most of our lives as number two number two means that we have to learn how to cooperate with others but not to suck up to them and not to give in to them. Learn how to have our own spine while still actually accomplishing our things. This is really, really hard. And I really believe that that was like the guiding principle behind the Greek, um, what do they call it, councils, right? Because first of all, you had to be 45 to enter it. And then that was assumed that you have learned lessons on your own skin and hence you'll be able to better kind of handle them. So the very first card that came out from Earth Magic Oracle Cards is Autumnal Equinox. Autumnal Equinox. We say fall here in North America and release. So let's call it Fall Equinox. So what do we really see here? Uh, it's kind of interesting because I kind of like aligned this and wanted to interpret this sort of like as per quarters as well as globally. But it was kind of really interesting. This was the very, very first card that appeared. And in many areas of the world, trees prepare for the winter and conserve their energy by uh, contracting their life force, right? which is they release their leaves, which have uh, required the rays of the sun and nourishment from the earth in order to maintain robust growth and appearance. It is kind of like not a decision that trees will make, at least not in the usual sense, right? Instead, it's a natural response to the decreasing cycle of light that sets up the gradual and steady release of the tree's leaves. 
How remarkable it is that these trees, and actually for that matter, all of the Earth's mother's children simply know what to do with the changes in climate. Don't you wonder how sometimes it would be so nice to be programmed and know what to do and when? Although this seasonal shift appears to be a death of sorts, it's only a preparation for the next cycle of life, one that we naturally follow the more extreme contraction of winter, as kind of an aspe uh, aspect of the life, death, rebirth cycle, right, that we find is represented in so many different ways. So, being the first card and after shuffling, I kind of stopped this and I was thinking, okay, how do I put this together? So, I, th I think this is what it means to start out the year. It's the time to let anything in our life fall away that is no longer useful or needed for the emerging expression of who you are. You see, let's go back to that number 11. I just told you, I had to live most of my life and most of the time I will live as a number two. In order to live as number 11, you really, really have to figure out what is important. And 99% of the things will not be important. So this is also telling us, right, that we have to shed what has become burdensome and what no longer is congruent with our soul's purpose. We need to conserve our energy by allowing ourselves more rest while at the same time making preparations for the following seasons. In this case will be winter season. So interestingly enough, the very first quarter here is a winter and it's asking us to kind of let go, especially look in material possessions. What is the guys that you really don't really need? Because number 11 is very altruistic. They are not motivated by money. Be really brutally honest with yourself because you have to figure out what you can give away and what has to be released, right? This card also tells me that we should consider shedding relationships that possibly serve their purpose and they're no longer viable, as well as work or a job that maybe has become devoid of interest and passion. With release comes a sense of being much lighter. I guess just like these trees, and they kind of like openly naked as their leaves kind of departed from them. Life is ready to birth following a period of being quiet and going through gestation. So let go of whatever has outlived its purpose purposefulness, I would say, and trust that something else will take its place. So I always advise clean your closets, clean your house, make a room for something else, because it's just not possible to add more things in a glass that is full. We all keep saying, oh, I want this, oh, I want that, but then where is the room to place this? You have to understand that physically and spiritually, we kind of like react in a similar way. We have to have a space to kind of place this in. And my care terror people, you, yes, you, you are here because you do want to become a better person. And you are a better person just by listening to this, just by doing the small changes. It takes so little to change this world. And together we can do it. It takes literally one person to actually start the motion. And I think we are moving in this direction because the second card was crystals and focus. One of my favorite cards because my personal favorite color is purple. And this is an amethyst crystal cave that's sort of like bathing in the river, river or water. And also what I really like here are these kind of points of uh, light, right? And this is kind of indicating that it has a spiritual and healing force. And the crystals do have this special, let's call it, magic, right? 
they have been used many many years for decoration but like in particular purple has been used by royalty and by clergy because it also had a higher purpose which was to connect us with our purpose and who we are supposed to be and open up our psychic uh, capabilities so since the violet color is the same as the crown chakra it has often been referred to as a spiritual stone so the nature of quartz crystals, the second most common element in the Earth's crust, is they help focus the power of our life, force, or spirit. And where attention goes, power flows, and crystals magnify this power tenfold. Our intention influences where our attention goes. When we are consciously aware of our attention, it facilitates the focus of the spiritual power and also supports the manifestation in reality. So, if you only heard blah, 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 I get it. First of all, uh, you're going to be provided a link and it's a quick link to Amazon where you can get yourself an amethyst crystal. I highly advise you do that because it's simply a stone that makes you think makes you wonder just by sitting in front of you it's going to give you a direction it's the stone that rules us instead of us ruling the stone so this is telling me it is time to bring a complete focus to the subject that we really want so of course we cannot put something new in the house unless we clean it so we are starting with that motion and then we are really really thinking what we want whether this is a project, relationship, or simply a relaxing time that we want to spend walking in the nature, we have to kind of like realize that we need to be present for it. And we need to kind of like really release our wishes to the universe. So the crown chakra is the top chakra that kind of opens up. That's why people say, say love and light. Because through crown chakra, through the spine, the light enters and helps us to kind of go in this direction that we want. And it has to be free. So you can get the circulation of light by actually, and connect to your karma, by actually having the small steps, as I'm telling you, by focusing and clearing it. This is actually going to help us have... Um, this crystal clarity as they say right and be in the flow of life force and have actually become one with it so then our wish is not going to be some wish some something that is somewhere else written you know or what they say dr phil just write like i mean what you want and just like wait for it to happen eh, it doesn't work this way you, you have to be realistic with yourself you have to see what you cleared you have to see what possible issues you had did you handle too many things at once do you need to kind of like focus on fewer things than usual so guys keep your eyes ears and heart focus on that what you need to pay attention to and miracles can be created i do wish you to focus on two or three things and I do not advise to focus on, let's say, a person. I would focus on a concept. If this is love and spiritual union, I would say, I need to, spirit, I need to create that. This is my focus. Once when you're going to, he has to be six feet tall, she has to be blonde, thin model, you're wasting the gifts that the universe can shower you. Because everybody gets what is perfect for us at the time for our learning lesson because we have these soulmates coming but we also have a spiritual contract or as they call it the karma contract you guys have all received a special offer for karmic contract to figure out what you can actually fix and what you can actually pay up pay attention to because it does help for me, I wish I had that done for myself because I kept repeating one mistake after another. I kept re uh, meeting the same person in a different body and repeating my mistakes until it finally I had that tower moment and exploded in my face. And by the way, we do not have the tower the entire year. Isn't this awesome? 
So look at that. It kind of like makes sense that the next phase would be this rainbow. And isn't this something that we always, and I don't know which one of you doesn't stop in awe by seeing something so beautiful? So what is rainbow? It is created by the collaboration of sunlight and water in the atmosphere. You can do it yourself simply, right, uh, by washing the car. So what happens? The water droplets become tiny prisms that collectively diffuse and disperse light onto ribbon of colors, right? And then we see every hue that we are capable of seeing on this planet. So rainbows symbolize many things, right? Including good luck, bridge to heavens, and abundance. It is really difficult for any of us to ignore the majesty of rainbow, right? And this gentle power. It is like almost like gods are smiling at us. So when you see the rainbow, the storm has passed and it is time to enjoy the refreshing beauty of this cycle. Maybe even if times have been difficult, even if clear clearance of things basically wanted us to kind of deal with, you know, things that maybe we didn't want to deal. If we did that, we are going to be rewarded, right? Don't just look at, quote unquote, the brighter side, because this is calling us call also blessings. Don't try to adhere to some, I don't know, academic mantra that has no heart and has no depth, depth or depth. You know, I, I hear people repeating their positive affirmations. Let me tell you, it doesn't work. So instead, show your genuine gratitude in words and in deeds to the other people. This ever evolving process of life itself is a blessing and it is an opportunity to exist as a human being on earth. Our planet is truly a beautiful garden. Let's keep it. We are so close to destruction, guys. Do you know that not a single psychic, not a single, as they call them, eye seers, see this planet past year 2100, 2100? Most of us are parents. We would like our children to have their children and so on and so forth. But it is on us and upon us to kind of give love to the planet because planet was giving this love to us all along so even though as i said this planet is possibly a really beautiful garden maybe sometimes doesn't appear to be so sometimes all we see is wars and issues right now keep thinking about the blessings and as far as blessings i want you to bless your difficult or even painful experiences and let them go. I think this is sort of a second call and then a new things will happen. The very last card here that I have is a new moon and I love this new moon because it comes with this like such a loving couple gazing the romantic sunset. So it is a time for the new beginning. 11 year after all is going to help all of you who are willing to be light workers yeah and and this is what makes my channel different i don't just give you some quick um, get together or he's going to leave you he's going to come back and not to come back yes you get that part as well but this is the key part because we are an army of do-gooders. We are an army of people who can actually move us forward, forward. And for those of you who do really want to do that, it's a promise that we are going in this direction. So whether this is to help others, to go to the high realm, to launch a project, a new relationship, or a new something that kind of has been tucked away for a later date, this is the time. We did set intention we did kind of give our blessings and now it is a time to emerge 
and anything that has been in the dark, maybe some of us wonder, will this ever happen? Rest assured, do this job, do this work that I have asked you to do, and it will happen. The next step, this step as a new moon, is to put into action what is required to fully realize this idea. Because as you know, moon has the phases, right? It initiates another lunar circle, right? It's moving from darkness to fullness and then back again over approximately one month. I don't know, it's like 28.5 uh, to 29 days. The promise is that the moon is going to be there, right? As long as the moon exists. So whatever the new project is, it has to be done on healthy grounds because obviously we have been asked so many times over this year to do it this is number 11 i told you number 11 is not an easy number but it gives you numerous rewards if you're willing to do the work you will not believe the red carpet treatment and it is just like that you're going to say oh my gosh i'm rewarded for who I am, for just being nice to people. So this card promise has two meanings. It can be a commitment and guarantee to yourself or someone else that a particular thing will happen, or it can imply that something specific is expected to happen. When you align your will with the will of spirit, and when you focus upon what you wish to have happen, then this promise will be kept. So I was going into so many details about these four cards because as I noticed this waterfall down in the other decks, it kind of like summarized really succinctly really the rest of the story. So let me explain. Look at this. In the other cards, what do we have? In Tarot, we have Major Arcana and Minor Arcana. There is a huge difference. Arcana means secrets. And those are those universal secrets that we are here to actually go and get through the dark and get into the light and kind of like move into the better life. Third eye chakra came out. The crystals came out. That message repeated. And so did the solar plexus chakra, which is the center, which kind of regulates both our connection with the other people and our ability to give the confidence, as well as our comfort with that we can handle daily tasks. So we have transformation, we have awareness, we have balance, we have trust, we have completion, and we have the master. I have to tell you, I am so beyond impressed what kind of cards we have. So let me give you sort of like a little information about the first quarter. The first quarter is going to be some kind of transformation. So in the other decks, this card is called Death Card. And Death Card with itself carries that mission, sort of like it can be very ominous, kind of like and strange and harsh, but can also be a beginning of a new phase, such as death of pregnancy is the beginning of a child. So hence, it's kind of very joyful occasion, right? So it's asking us to release what doesn't work and actually see what we can do differently. Because remember, if you keep doing the same things over and over, we cannot expect different results. It's also asking us to kind of like attend to new vitality. Look at that. This is also a purple card. I don't know if you can see it with the sliding. But again, it's connecting to this like two chakra uh, sort of like focuses that we need to have. Telling me, and there is this rainbow motive again, telling me that maybe if we need to kind of go to a new fitness routine or if we want to exercise, we kind of have to kind of like re realize what we neglected because it's reversed. And so is this card. 
awareness reversed again look at that it's again telling us about this crown chakra again is telling us about the magic and about certain things that we should be able to connect and and to create so when awareness is reversed just like new vitality this is kind of telling me uh, that some of us are not really aware and maybe we have been going through some kind of suffering and suffering is very much like stale water right when you drink water everything seems to be okay leave it in a glass it's going to get icky and yucky so we need to kind of at least kind of acknowledge what we need to release in order to know how to transform and then we are giving the tools how to do that and creator here is basically the Zen master look what he has he has the solar plexus chakra right so this card invites us to basically recognize and participate in understanding that you know everybody who mastered this kind of fires the solar plexus those are the fires of passion right this is the person who is able to kind of create a better thing for themselves and for everybody else. Because as you know, without fire, it will be hard to survive. And sometimes also fire can go out of control. So it has to be integrated that there is no longer any difference between who this person is inside or who we are inside and in the world outside. So that's generally the gift of understanding and integration right so the gift of light that i was telling you about so this is king of fire or king of wands that tells us that anything that we undertake now with the understanding that all that we want to undertake what well, has to come from maturity will bring enrichment to our own lives and to the lives of others using whatever skills you have whatever you have learned from your own life experience it is a time to express yourself so this card here tells me that must be some kind of hidden masterpiece inside of you guys maybe it was on a back burner maybe you were told you cannot create it because this is generally in the other decks called a magician who can create anything and then it's saying oh no i cannot do it maybe we convinced ourselves we cannot do it maybe others convinced us that we cannot do it but this is telling us, yes, you can. You're carrying a masterpiece hidden within you, but you're standing in a way. So just move aside and the masterpiece will be revealed, right? So everyone is a masterpiece because God never gives birth to anything less than that. Everyone carries that masterpiece hidden for many lives, not knowing who they are and just trying on the surface to become someone so how to do it drop the idea of becoming someone because you already are that masterpiece you cannot be improved you have only to come to it to know to realize it so it is understanding that what you are bringing to the table is important and that what you're bringing to the table should be honored that what you're bringing to the table should be respected it is how we do it how we say it and i would say for some of you that will be also some people that we possibly need to get rid of people relationships and stuff oh my gosh especially if you live in north america or europe or i would say australia sort of like the first world countries i would say we have so much stuff and there are so many people who don't have them so guys let's transform let's see what is important in the second quarter when we need to focus we will be challenged and this is what happens with number 11 and we have this balance any imbalance is going to be corrected look at that we have the circular motion here yet again right so it's like three four times that we have it here so we kind of like have to realize that we probably already have everything we need to have and nine of fire is talking about a strategy here is talking about focus the spiritual growth but hey just because we focus and sit in front of the fireplace and we want the soulmate to arrive 
hey, unless we do something, unless we, let's say, uh, get ourselves in shape, kind of create the profile, uh, go and meet other people, it's not going to happen. So this is talking about some kind of strategy, some kind of like creation of it, even though maybe that didn't work in the past. And I think this is why this came back, saying maybe certain things didn't look in the past, but maybe just a small shift in a different direction will actually bring us to different results. This is not all about just winning and losing, right? This is about the heart. This is about what is the good for us. Especially this applies to people who are in some kind of like three people situation. Resolve it. Do you know how? Get out of it. It's as simple as that. Nobody needs to suffer. This definitely card says that there is suffering that is kind of included. So it's asking you to transform out of that suffering. You are right to demand the truth because look at that. She's steering it. She's demanding the truth. She wants to let this light in, right? She wants to ground herself. And it is not all about the victory, but I think this card in here is saying that we have to redefine it. This victory should be about ourselves. This card here, again, is basically what happens when we don't know how to balance things properly. When, you know, we forget that our mind is meant to be a servant. And we allow our mind to run our lives. Look at this head. It's filled with all kinds of mechanisms and the smell is ranting and raving, right? And the whole surrounding atmosphere is kind of being polluted, as you can see, but this, this I don't know, what is this? Uh, factory, I guess, chimneys? But it's probably talking about factory of arguments and opinions. I don't know how often you guys to go to Facebook, Instagram, television, chat rooms, Everybody has their own two cents and everybody has to have a snarky smart comments because Simply we feel in a world that is kind of like really intruding upon of us But also we partially are responsible for ourselves, right? Some of us can say hey wait the mind is what makes us human It's the source of all progress It's the source of all truths. It's like what make humans better than anybody else well if you believe that Try an experiment. Go into your room, shut the door, turn on a tape recorder, and give yourself total permission to say whatever it is, quote unquote, on your mind. If you really allow it to all come out without any censorship or editing, you'll be amazed at the amount of rubbish that comes, comes out of our mouths, right? So this is the page of clouds or page of swords. And it's telling us that somebody somewhere is stuck in a head or in a head trip. So take a good look and make sure this isn't you. If you guys dealing with somebody like that, who is trying to force some kind of control or their vision of truth, because these three cards are very kind of like mind cards. These are air cards. Look at this air, 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 air. So to me, what is amazing about that is that the lots of, from the first six months, will be in the realm of thinking. So this is going to be very, very important to address, that we don't overthink, that we actually have to go with emotional response, where we already know where we don't feel right, and simply figure out what better ways we can go about it, Maybe what is the better partner for us and what is the better situation for us. Seeking the truth, I more or less see what is the truth for us. I think these two faces, these two minds are our mind. Because sometimes we think one way and then somebody else comes in into something else. Nothing wrong about that. It is okay to change your mind. Now, this is the card that tells you that sometimes people can be s sneaky and if you really know who you are and knowing who you are is coming from our solar plexus so I would advise 
solar plexus chakra exercises, sitting in the sun, that kind of things, because you see, she's kind of letting that thing come through. Then we would know if somebody is telling us the truth, if this is also our truth. And if it isn't, we are just going to let go of that. So this is not about winning against somebody, but it's again, I reiterate winning ourselves because we will be so close to completing that journey, to kind of putting this last puzzle in who we want to be, that it's going to be almost like you can almost touch it, you can almost feel it, and yet it's going to be some kind of wall because this card came reversed. We will still need to put the final touches because to become a number 11, to live number 11, you're always and always and always being challenged. You're always being thrown something else. So just don't say, oh, well, I did this easy exercise and something else happened and now I don't want to do it. This is what kind of year is going to be huge benefits but going to be lots of work. You cannot give up because the completion is very near. This like Mona Lisa smile, this everything is right, is right here. We cannot go back, guys. We can only go forward. And I wish that all of us go forward in a much better us. So this is the last call for us to walk away from things that don't work. Look, is this kind of chest of money or old memories? Or something that we have accumulated with somebody so important if somebody is not treating us right? Did you ever ask yourself, is there is something else out there better for you? Did you ever ask yourself if you trust yourself and if you want something better? Did you ever ask yourself why you haven't done certain things? Why didn't you open your arms and fly? Trust reversed or the full card reversed tells me that maybe there is still a concept that has been lost on us, even in the third quarter of the 2018. Remember, you can only go to third eye chakra if you conquer all the other chakras. In particular, two of them will be very prominent. Also, what I find interestingly is like these two colors are also opposing colors on the spectrum. So 11 means, as I told you, there are two ones, leader of the leaders, but also a very feminine principle. This is kind of very difficult, meaning you can say very, very harsh words to someone. It is how you say it. And it is to say it really, with real intention to help them and them understanding that this is what you are doing. But rewards, guys, are astonishing, right? Not only do we have this spiritual union, but we also have this master card. So what is the spiritual union, guys? This is a soulmate card, but not kind of like any cheesy soulmate card. This is like a really, really good one. This is like when you kind of look at this, again, in the third eye, you connect with someone. For those of you who did your work, who didn't kind of tuck things away, just continue things, the same old, same old, those of you will be actually uniting with somebody Maybe you already have a relationship that has been suffering. Maybe some of us will have this relationship that was more or less based on somebody always upping us one or somebody always need to look better or needing to be admired or we felt that somebody's taking away maybe our peace of mind, maybe, maybe money. But we have been working all year long to shed this to get to this union. And guess what? Number 22. We have mastered it. So the master is Zen is not a master over others, but the master of himself. His, and I don't know if you can see it, this also is a purple card. So his every gesture and his every word reflect his enlightened state. So as I told you, he has no private goals, right? So he has no desire that anything should be other than the way it is. His disciples basically gather around him, not to follow him, but simply to soak up the presence and be inspired, simply to learn. This is somebody who, 
who doesn't do things because he thinks he has to create something. It's somebody who just really enjoys and he kind of doesn't mind sharing what he or she has. If you guys find such a master, somebody who can help you along your path, who can guide you, you're going to come to your, that spot yourself really, really fast and you'll be blessed. If you can't, keep on searching because by the end of the year, you're supposed to get there. So keep on moving, guys. So 2018, I actually pulled one more card, which I haven't shuffled in front of everybody, but it's this one. Oops. Loyal heart. And I'm going to read to you what it says. It has a number of layered messages. And I really like to see two owls, right? Two owls represents wisdom, but in this case, per, like represents the heart. So it says this. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. By the way, Aquarians and number 11 is known for loyalty. And if you're telling me, oh my gosh, Kat, what are you talking about? I know this Aquarius and he or she cheated on me. Yeah, that's a number two. That's a very beginning existence because they were supposed to spread their wings and fly. They still haven't reached that. But this is who this is for other people who did their work right so all together this year is going to have this flavor that others will prove uh, faithful to us and we will in turn be able to fully commit to them so there is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart know that spirit is always loyal to you no matter the outer circumstances in your life trust and have faith for you eternally loved always divinely protected and divinely directed. For the relationship, it says, your partnership, friendships, and romantic relationships will have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Prosperity message. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form in reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans, while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is a time for a joyful celebration of spirit, and manifesting a partner and lastly we also get protection message are you stubborn or are you overly tenacious about an idea or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you don't want to know or you wouldn't know who you are without it now it is time to look at outdated beliefs, all ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is, the, is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. So guys, as you can see, this talks about betrayal to talking about that maybe you have been betrayed betrayed and maybe we are betraying ourselves this is asking us to let go of the past this is asking us that if something is out of balance because this is a karmic uh, number and it is a number 11 the things eventually will be in balance we eventually will have this trust we eventually will open our arms and things will come things will come we need to kind of get the strength in who we are what we want and then walk away from things that are not important that no longer serve us let bygones be bygones and get rid of the people who upset you and to spend time being upset or mulling over certain issues it's not going to serve the purpose the best cause of action 
put the finishing touches and say, hey, thank you. Thank you for being a part of my journey. It is time for me to move on. And I'm moving on because I'm becoming the master. I do love you. However, my love has to be given to somebody else at this point. So thank you guys for this general introduction. Now we are going to go in particular signs. and welcome your 2018 Tarascope. Can you imagine? We are already there. So maybe I should go card by card first of all to show you what you have. You have vulnerability, you have vision quest, veiled, and fog. You have iceberg and submerged and river Ugh. and movement. Then you have the waiting game. You have reversed victory and success. You have another six material and spiritual prosperity. Then you have power. And just like what we had in the major, major one, balance reversed. It looks like that is something that is coming out in every sign so far. So let's see what else dreams coming true embrace reversed release reversed refusing to see move reversed and then we also have rebirth trust reversed we are the world reversed, totality, and the rebel. Well, generally what I really wanted to have is one per each quarter, just like what I did in the major reading. So be very specifically done and cater for your sign. But since everything started to get the fifth one, um, I kind of like more or less see this like in some kind of like major messages that we are getting in the fifth column, not so much division in the fifth different segments. But either way, uh, it can be seen that way. I mean, it is kind of like really interesting reading to start with. You have you have two tenths and you have eleven, so the shift is happening in this year. Mind you, we are walking into eleven one one leaders of the leaders, and plus this is both masculine and feminine principle, where we actually need to balance not things in life, but our masculine and our feminine. Meaning, if we are not you know logical enough, we need to kind of work on it. If we are not soft enough, we need to work on that too. And you guys are getting that message really, really clearly. The very first card that came out for you was Meadow, vulnerability. So if you look at it, this is basically natural beauty. It's a Van Gogh canvas, if you really think about it, poetic design that is orchestrated by nature. You know, um, it is something where we feel maybe exposed and defenseless and maybe lacking safety but really most of us kind of like find this exquisitely satisfying experience right and this is kind of the 360 degree of openness so this is telling me that you this year will open the year with being in a place where you can take risks with your feelings and even more importantly take risks for the truth of actually who you are and the truth who you know you are in your heart and soul so no longer you're going to be subjected to your conditioned fears or you know or of letting others know who you really are and i can see that here check it out you also have a rebirth card but let me kind of like finish on this one so yes you may have others who will judge you evaluate you criticize you 
maybe they will even put you down so these are the very very real possibilities right so yet by trusting that you have the strength to deal with these reactions rather than responding to and always playing it safe right you can actually more confidently allow yourself to be vulnerable vulnerable is not weak so always holding back from expressing your truth can create an illusion of safety but armed with your trust and with your fate you can choose to be vulnerable and share your authentic self with the world the wishing game here is telling me that there is going to be some kind of like waiting so <coughs> excuse me talking a lot so here we're talking about putting the roots down like you are an, you're not or like basically earth sign you you really like to spend your time in the world of okay so what's going to happen you don't mind patience so it is something that you have already deposited like a seed something that is just like right now need needs the essence of time so maybe you're biding time for you to get a completely better person because the next thing i see here is this dreams coming true card so with this card generally people tell you it's a wish card i truly don't know what that means when somebody tells you oh kind of make a wish this is not a genie guys you don't make a wish but you can make wish come true so what have you been working on you have to kind of focus and tell me which wishes did you not fulfill yet where in which direction would you like to go because this is definitely telling me that there is like this huge potential because look what we have we have basically this milky uh, galaxy milky way and the light getting right through the center getting right into your soul so this is like you are getting connected to something that's what you really uh, need what you really wanted what is that really kind of like in the source of you because vulnerability is also saying like yeah i'm going to continue even though everybody is a naysayer and then you have this rebirth now let me tell you the story We'll see how much longer she wants to stay, but let's focus right now on your 2018. So, okay, these are the cards that have the two sides, two different sides. So, hence, there are actually two messages in a card, very much like upright or reverse, if you really wish. But these cards are not exactly the same way like a regular tarot deck. They are like some crossovers, but not everything. So I actually enjoy these cards for this, what they call it, I mean, astrology wheel. So we're going to check all the 12 houses over here. So the very first house is awareness of yourself. And this is just like as we saw you're stuck somewhere somewhere where actually was good like the world card reappeared and the chariot card reappear and pardon me didn't have the chariot. you had the strength card over here that's kind of like reappearance so this is really really good and actually the death card also reappeared so you can see like i mean it's 156 options to get this three this is just like i mean playing a lottery you kind of guys are really on your tangent so when you see eight cups right sometimes is wondering like you see in this in this phase you're looking at things wondering hey i have all of that i'm so great you see that's remember what was the situation about you feeling and needing to feel admired or wondering why are you still feeling empty you have the things that you thought when you acquire will bring you some kind of prosperity and happiness but now you're understanding that just sticking around and wondering is not going to be necessarily the answer what you need to do is like maybe walk away so this is the guy who becomes hermit in the phase number nine so 
this first house talks about appearances, talks about outward personality. You are not going to be the way you were. You're going to kind of like move into some completely different phase. And the things that maybe excited you before are not going to be the same like in the future. You're definitely going to explore. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. the people who walk away, sometimes they come back. But you need to find out for yourself if this is what you need to do. House number two is like house I call I have. It's the money, possessions, values, and skills. So this is going to be juggling with lots of things. So definitely it's going to be ongoing process. It's not going to be stopping and you will be attracting your attention. As you can see, this is not going to be left unnoticed because this is going to be a game. As you can see, that is really, really hard to do. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a direction where you will willingly go because it looks like the both of them balls are up in the air. And this is actually really good because you're showing, hey, I can do that. And yet look at how easy it is for me. So I actually, again, this is telling you do not worry. Like, I mean, this is all working out. Mm -hmm. Just keep working on your values, keep working on your skill. And guess what? Again, you need this balancing. Balance is really important. So not all the time, just work, work, work. Not all the time, just money, money, money. You have to kind of like really spend spend time with other people as well. What? You like Taurus? How much? That much? Super much? Can I tell them about their third house? Huh? Can I tell them about the third house? What do you say, you baby girl? So, she is really guys hunting Haunting you, I would say. Hi, sweetie. That's another fixed sign. That's a sign of Aquarius, stubborn as heck. But I guess maybe she wants to be Taurus for this moment. So, guys, again, in your third house, which is like what they call, I think, house. It is the house of mental activity. It is the house of learning, siblings, and communications. You're getting a world card right and you see it's the opposite side just like over there you see there is like that motive of the snake that is kind of like biting its tail so something has to continue something you're still holding on to and this is where you are your mental processes need to be different you need to kind of find a different road that is going to take you in a direction that maybe so far you don't even see that's why you had the fog and everything and maybe it's scary for you because you like this your earth sign you like this like tried and true and I know where I'm going but this is definitely talking about that you might have some kind of issues with your siblings um, it might be a refinement of the communication that you have within other people but this is a really good trajectory to be on the world it means like you're just about to finish you're just about having that check mark well done you're on your right path it's kind of like really really good now, again, actually, this is the card also to repeat. Remember how you had the material and spiritual prosperity? Well, this is, this is talking a little bit about the shadowy side. But this is, again, telling you guys, because the four uh, house is the house of home, parents, roots, and inner security. So maybe you have been looking at things how to how to contribute. Maybe you were looking at things from the above. You look at how he is mesmerized by looking at this kind of village below. Now you're getting this side saying, guys, you have the wind in your back, in your sails. You guys are on the right trajectory because it's not dark. It's not too dark anymore. It's light. So this is inner security is something that is going to bring you prosperity so maybe this is not necessarily going to be exchange of money maybe this is going to be something else that is going to be even more valuable and it's going to come through where you live or where you move through your parents this might be inheritance even though generally nine of coins would say that but this is also talking about some kind of balance as well that certain things need to be give and take so you have to find in which areas you haven't been giving enough and maybe in which areas the other people took away from you that that applies to physical things and physical exchange but it also applies to many kind of like security issues that uh, could be addressed over here now 
my favorite card and it's like one of the top two cards and actually you have both eight and you had that strength and power over there and you have 17 that's almost the same path so let's say you're going and traveling somewhere and this is a stop station to wear this card so both lessons are actually integrated over here the other card besides star that it absolutely exalt over the others is the sun so the star and the sun and you have everything so this falls in your house number five and this is like really really amazing so there is like a shooting this is not a shooting star it's a guiding star right and this is the house of romance children fun and creativity so certain things will start to happen certain things are going to start to heal if you still had certain things from the past and that's what i saw remember in submerge and everything the things have to resurface the star really allows you to do that and here we again talking about get naked get naked with yourself well you can get naked any way you want but get naked with yourself get this truth hey you know we all have those words well we nobody is the smartest the most beautiful everything in the world i always like tell people that they coach hey you know what even holly berry which is one of the most gorgeous women in the world have been cheated on there are no guarantees in life the only guarantee is like to pri provide that feeling of safety to yourself when you get the star card it's basically saying that you got so strong on the outside, which was one of your paths, and it's still repeating over here. Basically, this is repeating in your partner area. This is kind of interesting. Your relationships will blossom this year, but you still have to face some demons, and you'll be so much stronger. Remember how you had this like half lion, half sage? This is kind of the similar card. She is here fighting a demon. She's not allowing those demons demons to resurface because this is why this card is reversed certain things that made you happy might not make you happy anymore because guess what when you heal and you can fly you don't no longer have to kind of pick up stuff from from the ground kind of little seeds you can actually go and hunt and you can kind of do different things so the star is like something that is going to bring um walking on the water kind of like feeling and this is like that spiritual strength star is all about the healing star is all about community star is all about connecting to the other people so it's another basically um fixed sign as leo so you're, you're getting them all here right all the other three signs as you got it there so you guys are going to continue being fixed only thing you're shifting you're getting fixed to something else and this is a really good part of us fixed signs yes you're stubborn you're holding whatever we want to hold on to but when we go we go and nothing can stop us when we kind of set our mind so it's just like this shift that sometimes is painful sometimes it kind of takes time for us to kind of like do it right so here we have the house number six mm -hmm. and here you have like this death card right this is i serve card and we see those like two cover two towers which we see it in a tower card we see it in many other cards in this deck we also see it in the moon card so they are kind of telling me they're connecting right this house number six talks about work health service and self-improvement so you see Two of them are basically pleading their cases over here and they're being told we're kind of trying to find maybe different meaning in life because look the uh, merchant came asking and offering the goodies and you see the money etc and this guy here has a lotus so there is that material and spiritual prosperity this is something that has to die and something else has to resurrect and this is like work health service self-improvement if you guys haven't been healthy you are going to be looking in different methods of how to get there you will get a completely new vitality again look you have like lots of naked people which probably think you're going to be naked a lot which is a good thing in a good way i'm kidding so self-improvement is definitely going to take place shedding the old and kind of realizing completely new path you'll be actually even surprised with yourself honestly if i didn't see this reading i would say tara's cannot do it boy 
can you do it? You can do it because you are number five in tarot and you are moving to seven, to eight, to 17. Seven, eight, 13, 17, 21. This is how much you're moving. You're mover and shakers this time around as well. So here we are getting to basically your house of marriage and other partnerships, your partner house, which you're getting the same thing. You're getting the taming the beast, beast and feeling strong and not feeling intimidating. For the women, feeling feminine and not, not giving up on your basically power for anything and yet not changing in, in any direction that is like really not something significant. And here it's saying persisting even when the old demons come after you. You still just focus on where you're going. And this one of the things is like taming this beast inside of you. All this kind of like lowly instincts and maybe all these issues that have been challenging to us. Whether I think for you the biggest area is the communication. Now the house number eight is the house of shared resources and you're getting like this two of swords reversed. Now, this is going to be a little bit iffy, I have to tell you, but this is also the house that is ruled by Scorpio, and in this house, it's a sex and death and letting go, regeneration, other people, money, and sharing. And here we have maybe inability to decide, and that's possibly because you guys had this like almost like four quarters with kind of digging out the subconscious and digging out all the things on the surface and kind of like you need to deal with that and only then you can make decision. Up to this point it looks like it will feel that somebody is making decision for you and maybe you will be the one who will be let go because you'll be kind of stubborn and you will actually be doing things that is good for you. Well other people are used to kind of rolling you around their finger and you'll go, eh, you know what, you can make a decision for you and for me. That doesn't mean you won, because you see, after all, you're taming this beast. You're like on a trajectory to kind of like be who you really are and what you really want. So to some extent, kind of like it could be a challenging area, especially if you like to be domineering in this area. And this is kind of coupled with this. This is higher education, philosophy, uh, publishing, religion, travel, and law. So it's going to be some kind of anxiety. It's going to be some kind of blockage. So it is kind of really, really important. But like if this is telling me because it's blocking him to go out. You do need to go in. You are used to going out. You're used to being movers and shakers and kind of like puttering around all the time. You like your hands busy. This is a spiritual year, people. In this year, like what matters is some kind of transformation. It's conquering your demons. It is like going deep inside. I'm not saying you're not the spiritual sign, but look at how many messages you're getting. So here you're having an air, 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 and air. So things are moving in that direction. And it's asking you to, for a year, kind of set aside at earth. Let's kind of see what other things can get there. Then you have the house number 10, which is achievement house. And it talks about career, status, reputation, vocational purpose, and taking power. Here we have this, oh my gosh, I need to kind of like take some rest. So you're not going to, looks like the things will come to you naturally. But you're resolving these things. This is going to be byproduct of everything else. You're mm. not going to be focused like and having your teeth in it. Not going to be dog with a bone. You will mm. simply and uh, quietly just kind of like reassess maybe that you need time. Maybe retreat before moving forward will be better. And I think when I see these two cards together, this tells me that you will really actually balance things out. I would assume that certain things were completely off, whether this is like work or spirituality or life. Somehow this has to be attended, all of them. And it has to be attended with some kind of like better balance, which I can see it was going way out of whack and it could have gone wrong. So there is this house 11 of your aspirations and group contributions and friends and groups and and like where are you going and from all the cards you're getting a chariot right but you're getting this chariot reversed and like in this particular card generally sometimes it says you get stuck on this level which 
I think it could be. It's kind of interesting here that we see the path, though. So see, this is why I said these cards don't mean exactly the same. Because in this particular case, we do see chariot, and it is the opposite side. It's kind of connecting to cancer. In particular, you are thinking July, end of June, July, is going to be something really important on this segment. Now, as you can see here, can you see this like road? It's not a road. It's almost like moving out in a different galaxy. So I think this chariot is becoming a spiritual chariot. And chariot and the star together are usually the ones who are having these guiding stars. So this is definitely a spiritual journey. And I think you're going to be belonging to some kind of groups of people. Not necessarily religion. This combination can mean that. But it means you're looking your own answers, no matter where you need to find your answers. Finding your guru, finding your coach, uh, finding something outside. But the answers are going to be kind of coming in waves, just like what we saw it in your initial kind of general spread. These answers might be rocky, and that's why you go, oh my gosh, I didn't want to see that. You know, sometimes it kind of like sucks. I am on this spiritual spinach journey. Well, okay, spinach journey, spiritual journey for a while, and it's kind of getting harder. You kind of get angry. You kind of like, why is this happening? Or, or kind of like, can't understand like why people are not gooling and gelling, which is kind of so easy. Why do we have such a kind of like self-centered attitude? But you know what? Overall, you also find people who are like thinking like wise people who are like kind of loving and wanting to go further up chariot is a really really fast card you will really be attracted to different people and you might stay with the guru not forever you know like when i coach people stay with me and some of them for a long time some other people just stay part of the journey so this is just like you uh, it is kind of like really important that you kind of set your stages and move your uh, icebergs and mountains and kind of like realize what is this, this next stage that you are seeking. Because honestly, all I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of exploration over here. And there I go, this house number 12, mm -hmm. your dreams your spiritual life, the very key where I think everything is sort of like pointing at for you. And check it out. You have this new beginning, something that is going to strike you. You actually are not going to have a choice, even though if you all heard was blah, 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 you will be, be being, you are going to be pushed in that direction mm -hmm. from everywhere. You will be feeling anxiety until you find this inner peace through prayer, through meditation. So check this out. You have this five of swords and you had it over there. Remember refusing to see. You are not refusing to see here. You are not being conquered or conquering anybody. You are simply as well, you see, saying, you know what? Feel free. Maybe you won. And this swords are also very spiritual. Swords are talking about spirits, but cups are more talking about religion. So there is a the huge difference. So the final kind of thing for you is like up being uplifted because you are the earth sign and you see you have the fire and you have the air. So uh, below you would be water, then you have earth, then you have uh, fire and you have air. So look at this, you guys are lifting up. You, you actually are going to accomplish a lot. And I can see it's going to be a really good mixture. We have all we have we have three water over here we have one two three four five air we have three earth and we have two fire so as you can see more or less there is actually quite a balance but most of the time you will be in your head you will be cleaning the trash out and it's kind of really important it is the most the key this year is to let go of things that don't work and start moving in direction that will work see here is like where you have like all the signs as well so here you are Taurus Leo Aquarius and um, Scorpio or Phoenix in this particular card so this is where you want to go 
this means okay the stage is finished so you need to do this work to turn this around because in both spreads this kind of has been a stagnation so let's check your letterman and let's see your situational kind of like uh, thing this year ahead of you So this is called Grand Tableau, meaning all the cards are on the table. We are looking simultaneously all the cards and what you are maybe not seeing, which I know that each basically card underneath has a place. So this one starting with one, two, three, so on, going up to 32. So this, for example, is a card, pardon me, 36, mm -hmm. uh, card 36, and this is the card of the cross, right? So then I actually kind of link all the things together, I kind of like to see how they work. So this is kind of like giving us lay of the land, which is always known, good, good to know, to be prepared so it's kind of like you want to go and you want to leave this year so we did see maybe some trouble will be an issue maybe there will be no troubles maybe you'll just decide to move instead but it could be that you will go on a trip let me, let me see if i can actually make it closer to you let me see this so you can see it better or it will take it all away there you go perfect yes i didn't mean your close-up oh sweetie it's lots of cards on the table come on go and play with matrix would you sweetie huh okay sure you can stay there you can stay there so you see i see the lady and see the gentleman and, and kind of like what is really interesting there is this cross next to it which i told you the clock tower is in its house of the cross and this is in the house of a letter there will be some kind of communications Ugh. i'm always dreading that she's going to mess everything up so right like so this kind of like keeps coming from both sides you will be doing kind of well financially this keeps coming back and your fate people is not to have a job you probably will be leaving job behind and some project because the child doesn't have to mean a child child generally represents something that has existed in the past just like for example you know pregnancy exists and then it kind of grows it could be some project that that you had previously something that was really really important to you but it's now coming back like you're going through this soul searching quite a bit and things are actually coming out now could be two people for you because significators are the lady and the gentleman and either of you can be your gender right so you don't have to kind of think of them that it has to be one way or the other so there is the snake which could be a third party as well and there is the whip which could be third party so both partners could be going in different directions because i don't see anything here in between the partners I do see karmic connection. I see something that has been happening in a while and something that maybe the roads are taking you in different spots, but not necessarily the three possible roads that they're taking here. One of them is a key to something else. So I can definitely see that one of them goes toward business and towards some kind of new contracts. So other way is also very good, like where there are some kind of finances, uh, also through some kind of gathering with some kind of people. However, for some of you, this one significator cater is going in a completely different direction. I think some of you are possibly going to leave the union you're in or find somebody who is kind of like really extraordinary, um, seductive, somebody who might be, um, as you can see, far away from you, a distance away. And I think your goal will be to kind of come closer. There will be lots of communication with this person. And what is kind of really important is that uh, this fate 
is in a communication, remember? This is also what you need to learn this year. So this is going to be something that is really faded, this new person. This can be old person as well because this is all connecting. But there is also somebody in your presence, in your present, not necessarily in your presence, in your present, who is really, really important, who, al who is also karmic. So it almost looks like that with this karmic person, you might have some kind of business dealings or even sex. But the other one is also going to be tempting for you and something that you kind of like maybe even want to kind of settle down with, right? But the ring, where is the ring? Let me see where I see the ring. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. I'm not seeing the ring. Nope. Stork. Oh, there is the ring. Okay. So ring talks about commitments. Some commitments will be cut off, guys, for you. Around March. And actually, funny enough, you're kind of getting wised up. You see, you have the stars. You had the star over there. So this is communication, communication. Guys, I think you're brushing up on your communication. Remember how I said the stars and the sun are like the best cards in, um, in tarot? Sorry, here. Stars, sun, and actually the moon in this deck as well. But the moon is sort of like close to the ring. So it's going to be a question of some kind of reputation down the road. So again, I see this mountain here. Don't be this camel. But this is kind of interesting because this goes for both of the significators. Whether, um, I don't know, like what kind of job guys do you do? Do you do marketing? Do you do sales? Do you deal with people? Because the garden talks where people swerve, like it's lots of people coming and lots of money and it's talking about the business. But at the same time, that can be very kind of like nagging atmosphere. So of course, people are kind of always difficult. We know that, right? So it looks like it's dealing with people is kind of like a path that will be covered with the sun and stars. And it could be some new person that is entering into that. And that new person may be entering as soon as January. Or even, even maybe in December, because I'm reading this the last day of November, this something will happen really, really soon. So this talks about religion, and this also talks about faith. But it talks about enormous sexual appeal. So you see, this is kind of a conflict when people kind of go into that. And... This is not necessarily talking about morality, people. We have noticed everywhere that religion doesn't equal morality anymore. So hence, it doesn't really surprise me to see these two things together. But because this is a number 11, I'm wondering how much this has to do with this message, have a balance. Because all these people means lots of activity. I still don't see here the space. Well, mind you, the anchor is that kind of like little kind of piece that you need for yourself or that vision quest. Anchor is like, okay, so you know what? Let me just sit, sit here. Let me just stay here for a while. Look at the lay of the land and see how can I bring the sun to here. And then I see the owls is just talking about some kind of new wisdom. Don't question it because this is the grave and the sickle here. Some kind of like issues and disputes might come in a way. You also have the grave here, you had the death here. So March for you, uh, I have to say March, April and May. And actually, I would say spring and summer, rather to be more specific, will be really where this like whole bunch of things would would be taken account. Things from the past would be resurfacing, literally out from the grave. Who is loyal to you? You'll be cutting people, your loyalties. Uh, some of you might have babies. You have the stork here, but there'll be a problem with that baby if you have it, if you're expecting. Or if you are thinking that you want to get pregnant, it's going to be difficult. Now, if I look in the corners, I have the journal, I have the clever, I have the child and the locket. So there will be definitely lots of dedications with some essence of luck in um, towards something that has already been on your mind, maybe for quite a while. And this is actually holding the key to basically that success. 
And of course, they have like such a small kind of like two kind of places, Matrix and Safi, but both of them always want to be in the same one because this is how they can start an argument. So don't do that, Taurus. Try to see how you can carve your own space and yet have the space for the other people. So I actually don't see anything particularly negative other than temptation, right? And temptation was prominent everywhere so far, asking you, do not go back to certain things. Maybe temptation was really the thing that you need to overcome. That kind of like has been something holding you back in the past. But also it could be some new contracts that will bring the fate. But this also can be a wedding, guys, as well. Because this is also in the house of a cross. And lastly, the gentleman is in the house of a dog. So the male Tauruses will be very, very loyal. And this dedication is going to be very visible. And as far as female Tauruses, you guys will be doing lots of search. Lots of that soul searching. Much, much more. But it's also going to be pushing through this process. For female Tauruses, it's going to be something really that's going to end up with some kind of love, which kind of has much better foundations and maybe even proposal, uh, I would say, toward the end of the summer or early fall next year. Maybe even, maybe even wedding because you do have a clock tower over there. And that's going to be a very healthy relationship. But you'll be really working really hard to kind of like remove all the obstacles about that. And it's kind of karmic relationship. Usually karmic relationships don't work. They kind of push you back. But you're saying, okay, push me back. But here, come with me. Give me your hand. Walk with me. Kind of like cracking a whip also could mean um, getting a hold on something. Not not allowing certain small things to bug you and kind of like really working on on um, working on anything that has maybe uh, cover is covered with the dust and that maybe shouldn't be uh, revisited. So lastly, guys, I want to take uh, from these two decks a couple of more cards for you and see what kind of messages you get. Taurus, 2018 Taurus, 2018 Taurus, 2018 Taurus, 2018, and I think something flicked, yep, deep knowing, oh my gosh, you just cannot escape, that you need to, you need to seek the depth this year, so we're going to see that, and let's get it from this deck, Taurus, 2018 unexpected visitors lovely card okay so let me start with this one unexpected visitors it says if you expect the unexpected you'll be prepared for miracles and it is upright Detours, surprises, and paradigm shifts expect the unexpected. No matter how detailed your plans are and how clear you believe the road ahead to be, there are times when the best plans are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, detours may seem inconvenient, but the surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicity, for faith and destiny to meet, except spirit, who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy this exciting new adventure you weren't expecting. There is a plan for life that, you, that may not match up with your agenda. So keep, stop doing the same thing you were doing so far. And let's see this deep knowing. Okay, Oracle's message. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It is perplexing that people are thought 
to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You have given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You are now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Relationship message. There are occasions when you just know, deep in your heart and soul, that the person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly, out of blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched inedibly, indelibly, pardon me, onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. And prosperity message. This is a time when your hunches will play large dividends if you listen to them, take the risk, and act. Within you there is an oracular consciousness, a higher and deeper knowing that transcends the machinations of the smaller thinking mind. At the deep level of your intuitive senses, you have an access point to the genius of the collective, the energies of all thinkers and creators, all inventors and leaders, and all that you need in order to leap into success are available to tune into. This is an act of listening intently. Pass the busy mind. Your genius awaits. Protection message. You are in empathy overload and need to get grounded again so tune out a bit remember this is the messages we were talking about taking some space for yourself hypersensitive you're suffering from psychic exhaustion this signals a time for a recharging of your batteries set energetic boundaries take a soul bath empty your mind and get back to you it is not the time to be too open soon enough you can let your guard down right now you need self-care and self-love. It is time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. One that feel good. So guys, what can I say? It's going to be interesting here. Somebody who you really want might not be the person you will necessarily join in physically. But there will be lots of people on the side who will bring the new enrichment in your side and yet this person is still going to be next to you and for some of you love and even proposal and even marriage is basically in the store for the others it's going to be this huge transformation and becoming somebody different and somebody actually much much better that you will scratch your head and wonder why haven't i done this in the first place so my dear taurus Thank you so much for purchasing this annual telescopes. Hope to see you next year as well. And in the meantime, you know that I have the monthlies and bi-weeklies on the channel. Thank you so much. Love you. Have a great day.